I go live, it is becoming more and more challenging for me. Okay, so um, how are you doing apart from all this tech? I, um, I'm doing really well. Great, great. So when, tell us about you from the beginning. I wanna know a little bit about your past. When did you start being an actress? It wasn't something that I sought. I knew that I wanted to be a school teacher mm -hmm. and I did that for 10 years and went into modeling in the summers and then went into commercials in the summers. Mm -hmm. And I saw a similarity just in um, evoking change and mm -hmm. bringing about discovery mm -hmm. and saw it as a way to bring myself and vulnerabilities and full of what it means to be a human, just to, you know, bring that out there and become a part of stories. Great, great, great. And so how did that go when you started? Um, I went into it, like, I think back, I've been doing this for over 20 years. Uh -huh. Um, and definitely there were the incremental steps. There were the auditions where you get two lines and it just is horrifically frightening. And mm -hmm. I, you know, couldn't step into that mm -hmm. compared to now where there's numerous pages and you look at it as an adventure, mm -hmm. as a time to play. Yeah. And I'm just letting you know that we got disconnected on Instagram. I don't know if you saw that. So um, I did. Uh, you saw that too, right? For some reason, it's not working. Maybe we just continue on Zoom and then it'll be posted. Okay. okay. Anyone who's there now, I'm going to turn this off and we're going to post the, the thing after. There we go. Okay. We tried. We tried. Okay. Let's keep going. So you were saying, um, it, you know, it's just like approaching school. You mm -hmm. come in with what you have mm -hmm. and you continue to build on it. So my process in growing as an actor is just continuing in that way. I think that we all should have that mindset too, that there isn't a point where you stop growing. Mm -hmm. So, um, but it's night and day who I was in the beginning and all that I did not know at that point, you know, you build on it. So yeah. I'm definitely better equipped. Definitely, definitely. And so what were the reasons um, why you decided to do, um, to reset yourself, which is pretty, dramatically different or right. some people will say opposite to traditional approaches to acting and so you've been around the block for a while and you've done many things and you've done a lot of growth work on yourself why did you decide to reset one of the initial things as far as acting and looking at a script or whatever is who are you and what do you want mm -hmm. and 10 years ago I was at a point where, who am I and what do I want? Mm -hmm. I fully understood what it meant to be a mother mm -hmm. and gave so much of myself to that mm -hmm. as a caregiver. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I'm 57 years old mm -hmm. and it was an assessment. It was a personal assessment of knowing that I was, there was work to be done in my identity Mm -hmm. There were things that had been pushed down that, no, mm -hmm. that's not the appropriate way to go about life. Mm -hmm. um, so I wanted to access myself fully so that I could bring myself fully into mm -hmm. everything that I did in my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And COVID yeah, and was an interesting it relate to, sorry for interrupting you, sorry, definitely relate to that position. And maybe there's many women in the audience who can relate to mm -hmm. of being a caretaker mm -hmm. and, um, you know, beautifully serving and caring mm -hmm. for your family. Mm -hmm. um, at which at one point you're like, oh, okay, what, what, what about me? Who am I? What do I want? And right. it's a necessary thing to ask yourself. Definitely. Okay. So you think um, what, what, it's also interesting when you get to that 
authentic realization that even if you ask yourself that question, mm -hmm. that the answer is really out of reach, right? It's not just because you mm -hmm. get to that awareness like, oh, shoot, wait, I'm disconnected. I don't know who I am anymore or what I want. It, it doesn't necessarily lead you um, to the answer. It's right. already great to have that question and, you know, mm -hmm. to have that authenticity and to be daring to ask yourself that question because most people won't. But mm -hmm. also, I think it's it's an interesting moment to go, well, wow, I don't even know how to answer that. Did you feel that way? And was it like a sticky thing to, to discover by yourself or to rediscover? I knew... Um... I know I grew up with my mother who was German. Mm -hmm. So there is stoicism and reservedness. I grew up in the South mm -hmm. in America. Mm -hmm. So there is, um, you know, a, a way that you're supposed to present yourself mm -hmm. and all of us have attributes that kind of form us and shape us that are um, environmental things. So those things mixed with my innate being suppressed, mm -hmm. um, my shyness, which is still there, but it's okay. But my shyness, I pulled back mm -hmm. and went in isolation to mm -hmm. draw or, you know, however I was expressing myself. I saw a return in those type of habits when COVID mm -hmm. happened. Mm -hmm. And we're shut off from access, um, community and that type of thing. I saw these attributes return, mm -hmm. not, not positive, um, yeah. withdrawing. Mm -hmm. And, um, that was another part of seeking out. No, this is not how I'm supposed to live life. It's not how anyone is supposed to live life. So the same way that. I desired in the classroom as a teacher for each child to, to be fully who they are, to reach their full potential. And it's different for all of us. Mm -hmm. We're wired differently. Yeah. So I looked at myself in that same way that I would my own children, my own yeah. students and said, you know what? You're not okay right now. Mm -hmm. Let, let's, let's do the work. Let's yeah. get in there and, and let it be. back. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So that's when you find the reset and you decide to reset yourself. Mm -hmm. Right. And so how was that experience? How was it to, to, to get in there and to move through your resistance and to re rediscover your freedom? Challenging, mm -hmm. which is a really beautiful thing. Yeah. Um, you step into the unknown, mm -hmm. which is another beautiful thing because that's life. Yeah. And I allowed myself not to just be surface, mm -hmm. not to just be what was um, expected or the mm -hmm. most acceptable. Mm -hmm. I, with your permission, I have to say it first, it was with your permission. Um, I looked at nature mm. and normally I'm searching for my favorite colors and the sounds and all the beauty on one of the particular days. That was not what I was feeling. Mm. That was not what was coming forward. Mm -hmm. And I did free riding and it was powerful mm -hmm. because it spoke truth. And yeah. isn't that what we're about? Yeah. You know, I could put a mask on mm -hmm. and pretend all your life. Yeah. So um, that's just one aspect of mm -hmm. a 33 day journey. Yeah. Um, it is isn't something that you can understand or appreciate until you go through it. I think so. Yeah. I think I like to also say, um, and there's a word for when you don't have words. I can't remember what that word is, but there is a word to express the impossibility to explain an experience with words because it could never match the experience. I, I can't remember what that word is, but, but another way to say it is like, yeah, saying, um, you know, if I'm trying to explain what balance means before you learn to bike, mm -hmm. I could write books about it and tell you about it and tell you how great it feels and try to teach it to you in a book 
I cannot do that, right? You'd have to discover it in your own body. And mm -hmm. once you discover it, it's a, like, oh my God, of course that, that I have this in me. And of course that it's delicious. And mm -hmm. that's just an, an aptitude, a capacity, right? It's a, like a little bit of a skill. But when it comes to freedom, to your own instinct, it's not like a, a skill that it's nice to have, you know, mm -hmm. like balance. You can live without balance. But the, the I mean, balance on a bike. Um, but to actually rediscover what it really means to be your pure, authentic, fully expressed free self is... It, there are no words for sure mm -hmm. because, because and it was something that when you were little but then not since yeah and it was something that I experienced sporadically mm -hmm. throughout yeah. my career mm -hmm. but not consistently definitely and so that was another thing that propelled me it's like mm -hmm. why yeah. why do I not have access why mm -hmm. am I showing up at a callback and sometimes forcing something or yeah. pushing it down because it scared me so much that I didn't yeah. want to bring it out. Totally. Um, so it, it, it's a tuning of my instrument, if you will, mm -hmm. um, where I have access and I'm mm -hmm. not afraid of it mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it, it is the element of our connection that we all innately hear yeah and that you were born with and for you've just been trained out of it mm -hmm. you've been trained to behave you've learned behaviors on thinking and feeling and doing and you know moving and feeling i mean every, you you've learned everything mm -hmm. um and you know it's funny i looked up recently um and i can't believe i did that recently but i only did it recently did etymological origin of the word education in latin and it means to draw out mm, which is beautiful and it's the opposite it's, of what our education system right. is right education from right. your parents or from school is to shove in right mm -hmm. it's never about hey sandra how does this feel to you how how would you like this to be you know mm -hmm. even when you say i i realize i didn't know what i want even in our education Again, it's never about drawing out your wants. It's it's a, you, you're not even allowed to say I want. Remember mm -hmm. when you were little, it's like may I or could I please? Like if it's okay for everyone else, can I have my want? But we mm -hmm. do not encourage little humans to want. Wanting is wrong. And then mm -hmm. of course you have like an awakening at, at you know midlife, and you go, wait, what? Like I'm not mm -hmm. in my body. I'm not. I'm I'm not connected to who I am. I have no idea. I'm only connected to what other people want. And I don't know who I am or what I want. So how could I possibly show up apart from behind a mask, apart from my good trained professional pretender and faker? How can I be me? You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so you said that uh, resetting yourself made you get your wild back. So how does that feel? Yes. That... These formative constraints um, that they're taking, they're taken away. Mm -hmm. um, I choose to interact with others in a way that I give respect. Mm -hmm. I expect to receive respect as well. Mm -hmm. um, and when, if I may share this, one of the things that you brought forward is being interested. That really resonated with me. Rather if than you were interested, interested. Yeah. every element of your day is mm -hmm. so much richer. Yeah. Actually, and it's not... Yes. Yeah, so that that's the wild part. You experience everything on a whole new level. Yes. You see things that you would not have seen. Yeah. You interact in ways that you would not have interacted, you know, otherwise. You actually see, which is another thing that I could say, if you're listening to this interview, you won't know what I'm talking about until you feel it, but you actually see, you actually feel, you actually hear, 
you actually sense and perceive like even energy from things and people in a very, very, very um, magnetized way compared to pre-reset for sure. Because everything mm -hmm. is behind the filter of your conditioning of what's right, what's wrong, what's good, what's bad. You just land into your body. And because you land into your body, your perception is here. It's not in what should I perceive? What should I see? What, you know, it's not judging anymore. It's just really, just really being present mm -hmm. and feeling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad you got that back. It's definitely, that's why we came, right? We, we, we were alive for the, for this, to have the experience of ourselves. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm glad. So how has this, um, if you would compare a before and after when you're acting, if you can give us a snapshot or a graphic idea of how it felt to act before resetting yourself. And mm -hmm. now that you're totally reset and free, how does mm -hmm. it feel now? Or audition, wh whichever. It's a return of joy mm -hmm. and a mindset to play, to mm -hmm. step into what's presented to me to mm -hmm. just step into it. Mm -hmm. And then here you go. Here's mm -hmm. here. Here you go. Yes, and what happens it. from that point, you know, yeah, we had an exchange mm -hmm. and um, that opportunity to play and to have joy mm -hmm. is the main thing, because if you are not doing it from a place of enjoyment then again i'm like why are you doing it yeah exactly. so removing the clenched teeth you know we all had as actors we all had a learning curve yeah after covid happened and we're you know in office less and we have our setup and so all those technical aspects and all the you know that get us out of our creating zone because we're having to take on new tasks. Um, some of that brought about clenched teeth yeah. for, for me. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm more light about it all mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Great. So. Great. Well, I'm so glad. Thanks so much for sharing. Thank your you, Joe. Yeah. Thank you for, for, for sharing your experience. I think it's so valuable for anyone to come back to who they truly are, especially if you're going to influence people through storytelling. If you're not really truly who you are, you know, there's little healing that can happen. Uh, I believe that actors are modern mythologists. And if you're, if you're going to take on that flag and, and be up there and, and show people and remind people what it's like to be human, um, you better be fully human yourself. And if you're disconnected from that humanity, um, you're perpetrating what doesn't feel, you know, well, it feels icky. So I'm always really glad to meet anyone who's brave enough to take it on and, and, and be their true selves. Cause it's scary. It's scary to go against everything that we've been told and to really go back in, into your heart, into your core. So I'm, I'm glad um, that you've challenged yourself and that you've gotten your wild back. That's great. And I want to encourage anyone that has started the journey to complete it. Oh yeah. Because we all meet obstacles. I had many. So mm -hmm. seeing me on the other side, you're not aware of that, mm -hmm. but I had many. Oh yeah. Um, so continue, figure out how to continue. And I appreciate the dialogue that I was mm -hmm. able to have with you and those on your staff mm -hmm. that um, equipped with the how and the encouragement yeah. to keep going. Yeah, because keep going. there's a lot of people who want their freedom. It's true, who want their freedom back and, and who will embark on the journey and get really scared to step into the unknown and will you know, choose to melt and quit or say, I'll, I'll do it another time. This is too scary or I'm too busy or we'll find 
you know, excuses, unconscious excuses. And we really, really try to encourage everyone to know that, yeah, you're, you're, it's going to get scary, but you're much, 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 much bigger than those fears. And mm-hmm. there's so much of you, so much value on the other side of those fears, so much bliss, so much life, so much everything that it's so worth like picking yourself up, getting back up and walking through the fire again. Yeah, it's, it's crucial because so many people think there's something wrong with them if they're afraid or there's, yeah, they, they, they're not good enough to do this journey. And that's not true. Everyone is because we're not teaching you anything. We're just bringing you back home. So you deserve to be connected into your body. You deserve to be home. Um, no one is not good enough. That doesn't exist in our vocabulary. Yeah. So thank you for saying that. Yeah. So Great. I am better equipped because mm-hmm. life, all of its components will continue mm-hmm. to happen. Yeah. So I am better equipped. Yeah. Correct. Correct. Thank you so much, Sandra. Thank you so much, Joe. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely to see you. And then I'm sorry, we had these tech issues in the beginning. So anyone seeing this is probably seeing a recorded version. But if you have any questions, feel free to send them to us. If this resonates, if it triggers you, if you want more info, just send us a DM and, and we'll get back to you. Great. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you so much, Joe. Yeah. Bye. bye. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. You too.